So my name is Zara um, and I'm the founder of Calendar Coffee based in Varna, just outside of Glory City. Um, I should say co-founder, my partner Dan. Um, and we set up Calendar Coffee in 2018. Um, so we've called the company Calendar because we're focused on seasonal coffee. Um, we're really committed to keeping our range seasonal. Um, and for us that means kind of never roasting coffee past a certain point. Um, usually that's kind of 11 to 12 months off the tree. Um, our goal with Calendar is to roast coffees when they're at their peak of flavour, when they're in season, when they're tasting their best, and then kind of as they're aging or they're starting to drop off, we, we don't want to be roasting those coffees. So the name Calendar came about because we focused on following the harvest calendar. Um, so, you know, we will have a coffee in our range um, that only lasts three months um, before we move on to like a fresher harvest. With our sourcing, we're trying to, now we've been going three years, we're trying to kind of come back to the same farms every year um, and we're trying to kind of focus our sourcing so that we are repeat buying from, from the same farms. Um, but it's just taken us a few years to kind of, it's nice to taste everything and decide kind of where you want to, who you want to partner with and, and what coffees you want to buy. Um, so the coffee, yeah, once it gets to us, it's usually um, between kind of five months and seven months off the tree, depending on where it's coming from, depending on the origin. The more kind of experience you get with tasting, the easier it gets. So um, we kind of, yeah, so with your pre-ship sample, usually the coffee does taste very fresh. There is such a thing as kind of too fresh. Um, but kind of with experience, you can start to kind of decipher what that is and how it's going to rest out. Um, so by the time you get the landed sample, it, you know, it, it'll still be the same coffee, but, um, but it, by that point it should be opened up. It should, the flavor should have kind of relaxed a bit more. Um, that's the time you're kind of then going to be roasting that coffee so that's kind of what you want you you kind of a bit like a flower it's kind of you know showing potential in the pre-ship sample and you know you know all the flavors are there it's going to open up so the teamwork espresso um, the coffee club that people are receiving is from peru it's from the Cajamara region of peru um, and it's sourced through our importing partners caravella and caravella mainly work in central and south america um, so the way it works there is Teamwork Coffee, it's a blend actually of kind of 12 smallholder producers. Um, so they blend their coffees together to make kind of one larger lot. Um, and they'll all kind of, with the individual lots, they'll all taste very similar. Um, so blended together, they have kind of a uniform flavor. Um, and this is for farmers who kind of might, have, their lots might be too small to sell individually. Um, but that's why this, through Teamwork, it's a good way of kind of bringing those coffees all together. Um, there's buyers then for those smaller lots. Um, so this particular coffee, yeah, it's a blend um, of 12 farmers and um, it's a really lovely kind of full-bodied rich coffee. Um, expect flavours of kind of orange, uh, chocolate, um, we say it to kind of taste like Jaffa cakes um, in milk. Um, so really sweet and really balanced. The Ecuadorian coffee uh, comes from a farmer called Carmen Tapia. Um, and she has a really small farm, it's two hectares. Um, and she, um, yeah, she's an amazing farmer. Um, she's an older lady. Her brother as well, George, has a farm just down the road. We did it with a, a collaboration with another roastery who had his uh, coffee. But her coffee, it's a smaller farm, so it's a small lot. Um, and Ecuadorian coffees taste, um, you know, they can taste really tropical, um, you know, with flavors of melon, um, florals beautiful coffee um, and yeah it's yeah it's one of our favorite coffees of the year